Welcome, this is Regina Wager. I'm a board member here at the NAAOP, and I am pleased to welcome Lisa Liu from Hangar. She's here to speak with us about a very important topic, and that's diversity in OMP. And Lisa, would you like to properly announce your name? Um, I will, will not do it justice. And give us a little more background about uh, your role at Hangar. Absolutely. Regina, it's great to be with you. Uh, my name is Lisa Ladiga Yule. I have been with Hangar about six years, a little more than six years, and I am the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer. So I'm working um, very collaboratively with leaders at Hangar to really drive our diversity and inclusion uh, strategy. From the diversity perspective, um, you know, can you kind of give us some insight, um, uh, set the stage from us for us around really what diversity is and how you describe it? Yeah, so I think in, in a core at the diversity work is understanding what diversity is, right? And diversity is really any dimension that helps us differentiate ourselves from one another. So it's, it's differences, right? And I think what comes to mind first are things like uh, gender, race, and age, but the breadth of diversity dimensions is actually quite wide. Y you can think of things like thinking styles, educational background, political beliefs, religion, sexual orientation, recreational activities to roles within an organization. And what we have to keep in mind is each one of us has our own unique combination of those diversity dimensions. And that combination of dimensions creates a filter or a lens through which we experience and see life. And so that results in us each having our own unique perspectives and experiences and ideas to share. And from the perspective of inclusion, um, how does inclusion uh, compare and contrast and correlate with diversity? Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you're asking because often people think those words, diversity and inclusion mean one and the same, but they're actually quite different. Diversity is about differences. Inclusion is about achieving an environment, right? An environment where individuals of all backgrounds feel seen and heard and valued and respected as they're contributing to the group's efforts as their true selves. And we achieve that type of environment by using behaviors that intentionally seek out those diversity dimensions in our team members. And it's important because that type of environment is the type of environment that people thrive in. And when team members are thriving, our patients get great care and our businesses succeed. And what is Hanger doing to focus on diversity and inclusion? Thank you for asking. I'm excited to share um, because I hope it sparks ideas in other organizations and businesses on, on how they can get started on their DNI journey. We published, Hanger published a DNI pledge about what well, was last year. And within it are five commitments or focus areas, all with the goal of fostering more diversity and inclusion, both within Hanger and in, in ONP. So we have a focus on dedicated research, trying to understand more about why amputation is more prevalent in people of color. We've got a focus on diverse recruitment trying to encourage more students of color to enter ONP programs. We launched a DNI council in, internally at Hangar to help influence our DNI strategy. We launched unconscious bias training to raise awareness of bias and also help us identify ways to mitigate the negative impacts bias can have in the workplace. And we also launched affinity groups for employees. And these are organized around dimensions of diversity and just give us a place to build community, collaborate, and share resources. What can the OMP industry do to become more diverse and more inclusive? Yeah, I think really good starting points would be to think about where we're looking for talent, right? When you have a job opening, where is that job opening going? Is it reaching diverse communities? Um, 
think about scholarship opportunities. Can we come together, you know, to create more scholarship opportunities to welcome more students into the programs? Um, and educational efforts, having our teams understand why diversity and inclusion is important, or even teaching each other about more inclusive behaviors. That's fantastic. And, you know, I'm so excited Lisa, that, you know, um, you know, through discussions with you about this, you have volunteered to, you know, uh, take some of the resources that you have been able to pull together and, uh, you know, recognizing that this is an industry issue. Um, you, you, I really appreciate your willingness to provide some of those resources to our NAAOP members and allow us to put those tools and resources on our website. And um, it was very generous of you to, um, you know, to be willing to put your contact information on the website. So um, those companies, small or large, um, those organizations, whether it be, you know, VA, a school, um, you know, some of our organizations, um, to be able to put your information out there as a resource for them to, to contact um, I can't thank you enough for doing that. Um, you know, not very many people live in, um, you know, their, their life is wrapped around diversity and inclusion. Um, I think that we're very fortunate that we have you um, that has, has been spearheading that for us for the last six years. And, um, you know, over the past couple of years, we've seen the fruits of that effort and your, your wisdom and and really helping us through that. And I cannot tell you how grateful I am and the NAOP is for your um, efforts in pulling some things together and helping us to educate and make those tools available to our members. So really appreciate all of your time and effort and willingness to help spread this education throughout the OMP community. Oh, I'm, I am happy to do it. We, we are in this together, and the more that we come together and work on this together, the more quickly we can have an impact. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Lisa.